So currently in the United States, uh, it's actually in North America because it includes Canada as well. Um, five cooperative groups, uh, SWAG, ECOG, the Alliance, COG, the pediatric group, as well as the Canadian Clinical Trials Network are collaborating on a clinical trial randomizing patients with newly diagnosed Hodgkin lymphoma to either AVD plus brintuximab versus AVD plus nivolumab. And uh, this trial is accruing very well. Um, it's uh, slated to accrue about 1,000 patients, and over 600 patients have been accrued to date. So we're optimistic that sometime in the next 18 months or so, the trial will complete accrual. And once this trial reads out, I think that it will be very informative as far as the optimal place for these regimens in the upfront setting. Uh, in the relapse setting, uh, the cooperative groups are currently planning a trial that will ask a question of whether the inclusion of checkpoint inhibitor uh, benefits patients as far as overall survival in the context of salvage therapy prior to autologous stem cell transplantation. And this is basically combining checkpoint inhibition with standard treatment. So uh, we have some very exciting clinical trials that are enrolling nationally that will ultimately define the roles uh, for these drugs. The science behind particularly checkpoint blockade is fascinating. Uh, there are more patients with Hodgkin lymphoma that respond to checkpoint blockade than any other malignancy, and that's due to an acquired chromosomal abnormality uh, that really makes the disease uniquely responsive to this intervention. And what we're hoping in the context of these trials, as well as with additional studies, is to ultimately have a more precision approach where we might be able to determine up front before we start treatment, which patients are most likely to respond and which patients may need alternative treatments.